whatever you do, you deeply know that you have everything that is required at each moment, everything that is supposed for you to be having, you have it indeed. The moment that you cease to have everything that is required for your triadic whole in order to be on earth, you will be leaving your triadic whole. This is truly a wonderful world to live in, despite the supposed scarcity, for everything is being eternally provided and eternally renewed by the One. Let us tune with this. I wake up in the morning. I pray to Spirit, the primary source of creation, and ask to be given generosity. Source, please let my mental knowing about abundance disappear into the inner knowing of abundance. Let thoughts about scarcity and my worldly needs disappear into recognition of my responsibility for the needs of everybody on earth. And let this deeper knowing of having what I am to have at each moment be transformed into actions of abundance for me and for everybody. Midday comes. I move awareness to the here and now. It is my delicate spiritual work to examine incoming thoughts of abundance. Want more. Everybody wants more. From food to entertainment, from clothes to spiritual guidelines, everybody wants more by default. The human mind operating at a scarcity mode. I return to my every breath to examine incoming thoughts and emotions agitating my triadic being. Stay still and capture the thoughts. Incoming waves of circulating patterns Feel the touch between the arms and the body. What do I truly miss in life? What is it that I don't have enough from? Whichever the state of wealth or poverty I am in, I will always think that I can have more. As long as I live on earth, my mind will always be thinking that it can have more. Scarcity is the way of the mind. It has always been and will always be. Therefore, scarcity is a human construction. But abundance is it just is. Abundance is what it is when you cease to think, when you just be and accept the incoming waves of compassion at any physical or non-physical form that they are reaching you. Abundance is a just stay still and at the non-movement of my mind I recognize abundance as a natural gift of the Divine for everybody. I recognize abundance when I accept my responsibility for the unequal movement of goods. In the afternoon I see the myth. I come back to my mental space. I have not avoided building accusations to others, of course, strengthening my mask of personality and playing humanitarian or a progress lover. 
abundance is everywhere, when people in Africa are starving, when half the planet lives with less than a couple of dollars per day, living in containers and eating roots if they can find them. And what about wanting to enhance my life conditions? What is it wrong with that? Why not being able to get to the end of the month without leaving debts behind? Is that wrong too? Breathe in and out. Notice the space between your fingers. Even notice your pulse that has been agitated through these mental questions and come back to your heart space. Be brave with your excuses. The soul, that's what you are. The soul is eternal and it is so for everybody. Seven billion people on earth are triadic beings reaching completion and the coming back to the one. Not on your own account are you here on earth facing whatever life conditions you are facing. Not on your own account as a mind, as this questioning mind, have you chosen to be born where you did and experience what comes to you as experience throughout your life. Not on your own account as a mind have you been given the means or not means to reach wealth, supply of goods, etc. There are enough resources on earth for everybody to be fed equally. But me, listening to my thoughts, I have not avoided throwing away food until the day comes that I am personally responsible for hunger on earth. I will not question abundance by looking at my own bills to be paid. Now I arrest the mental intrusion. Images are the mental intrusion, thoughts and beliefs emotions and memories of scarcity. Arrest the human conditioning. The healthy one does not thank for health. The stomach full does not thank for food. The dressed up does not thank for clothes. The CEO does not thank for the bonus. The mother does not thank for the child. You don't thank for the roof over your head. The right hand does not thank for the left hand. Programmed, I am indeed, to only focus on images and mental traps of scarcity. And that is when the law of attraction enters my life. I will exercise the 369 method of Nikola Tesla. I will go through these and those stages of vibrating to attract money. I will start making photocopies of $100 bills and feel as if I had them, as if I touched them. I will start writing down for 21 days, for 33 days, for 45 days, handwriting of course, to feel it that I already have the sum of money in my bank account and that I receive that sum of money as a payout check. I will even attract my loving partner, the other half of my sentimental life. I will attract, I will, it is only a matter of directing thoughts and feelings towards it. It is a matter of changing my vibration through thoughts. And I will never wonder, what if all seven billion people wrote down to vibrate with seven billion dollars in their bank account. Why is it that seven million Syrians lost everything they owned and migrated 
Did they cease to vibrate as they used to because of their thoughts? I will never wonder. How is it that, decades ago, when the bestseller of the Law of Attraction, the famous Secret, was published, not all of its readers have not turned into millionaires? Why aren't they millionaires, those on the web that teach the law? What are they waiting for? Humble as they are, they are not making themselves rich in order to let money flow to others too? Welcome to the earthly plane, my mind, and to the law of destruction. Breathe in and out. It is not your mental movement that attracts. It shall never be. It is the here and now, with the one, the alignment in oneness, the coming back to the place of forever abundance of whatever kind, no matter what it seems to be in terms of the physical form. The evening embraces me. I'll give myself an example. You once saw a person in great anxiety and sadness. While he had it all, he lacked nothing, absolutely nothing. In your eyes, he was so tormented though by wealth and material goods. Money is not bad, not at all. It is. It is what it is. It is just that. Money. Money is not abundance. Rich people who have it all, you could see it. They don't have children, for example, and they are tortured. They don't have time, nor laughter. Bored of sleeping, bored of walking even, bored of having everything that the world can provide. Still tormented, can't stand living in their life conditions, searching for a challenge. And I believe that I can spend these or those days of my life writing down affirmations for wealth. I honestly believe that I will attract them. I met my soulmate partner because I thought about it, because I directed the thought to it. And what about the one who was killed in a car accident on the 44th day before he completed the 45 days challenge of writing down, I am rich, I am abundant. What about the one who was brought by life the so-called ideal partner after the 369 law of attraction? Was he or she also brought the way of living in wholeness and fulfillment within the relationship? I cannot attract anything, nor can you. We can only align with what already is. I was told about some people who went out in the countryside to scream out in the universe, money is flowing to my life. They run and climbed up the mountains so that their thoughts and emotions could be directed straight to source. And then, coming back from the mountain, they fell into the valley from an altitude of some hundred meters. They could hold their breath and thoughts just for one second in the scarce time of life that they had till they hit the ground. They thought, I am digging a pit, make it grow bigger and bigger till I admire the pit I dug and the depth of it. And then I fall, I fall in and go down. 
Your exercise of abundance makes sense, my dear mind, because it is done for something as funny as the mental you. And you don't see the one. You don't see abundance as it is. Abundance as you already have it. You lack abundance out of blindness, not out of scarcity of goods. Did you really believe you were smarter, more competent with thought direction, more diligent with the law, more capable or more worthy of things and money in life, thus better than others, worthy of more. Haven't you ever thought that the guy living under the bridge is more worthy of abundance from you? We lack oneness, my dear mind. Oneness, stillness of more, stillness of thought, is the inner place where all you meet is abundance, and your only position on earth is to channel abundance towards others around you, be an empty vessel for it to flow through you towards everybody else on earth, and never ever let it stuck inside your vessel. You don't attract anything. There is no you to attract, no mind able to attract. There are no mental thoughts that can attract. There is just being, being along with all that is. And then, only then, what is to flow through you will flow. How could you think yourself more mentally powerful than one billion people in India? And then, only then, maybe, you don't wake up rich the next morning, but it is okay, slightly better than believing that you were born on this planet to get to the point of directing your thoughts in order to make money. At night, I breathe in and out. I breathe in what I already have. I breathe out my ego self. I redefine abundance through what I already am, not in misery or in self-pity or abandonment. Entering oneness, mental traps disappear. I save my human existence for joy in the here and now. Whatever I have, whatever I don't have. I praise the one for everything that I have in life, for I have everything. And life itself is the exact reflection of abundance in all its forms. I let abundance flow from the hands of the one. I am not the least fortunate person on earth. Heart prayer for all humans to consciously share our goods with those less fortunate till zero poverty. Dear diary, good night.